Well, Sandy, as you can imagine, this quiet little community upset over the disappearance of this man, 47-year-old Glenn Brackett. Now, Glenn's wife tells us that he left his home yesterday morning for his daily run here at Claire Lake and never returned. All the people that we've spoken with say that this is unlike Glenn. He's known throughout Carpenter County for his charity work and his willingness to help others. What's even more disturbing, Carpenter County police say that this is just the latest in a rash of instances of disappearances. Carpenter University in Carpenter County where several young women have vanished. Now we've talked to campus police, we've talked to local police, and they say that these disappearances are not connected, they appear to be random. I just love screaming. Well, we found water in both their lungs. Water. The killer could have uh, drowned them in the bathtub. They're staying indoors at night. All the same, Chief Meeker urges everyone to remain calm. He says there's nothing to fear here. He promises that a suspect should be apprehended. Definitely murdered his wife! I wanted to ask you a few questions. Mind your own business. Good evening to you, Reggie. I'm standing outside of 1013 Orange Grove Road in Carpenter County. This is the scene of a gruesome discovery. Several bodies found inside this house. Let's pretend we're not. So sick of cops. What happens now?